Hi, everyone. It's Chatham, and I've got Darla here with me today. I'm kind of turning the tables on her, and we're going to chat all things about the Linus Summit. So, Darla, I just want you to say hi and introduce, you know, the Linus Summit to a couple of new viewers and new people on this page. Um, so fill us in just all things about the Linus Summit and why you came up with it. Uh, thank you so much. I love being on here. Chatham is so much fun to, to talk with, and she's <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's been my right hand man, <laughs> to say the least. But thank you so much, everyone, for being here on our midweek moxie here at the Linus Summit. The Linus Summit is a live platform where we introduce amazing women, literally all over the world, who are changing the world uh, with their courageous stories. They've come from places of brokenness. And they didn't let it stop them, so they kept going. And I love hearing their courage and would love to just share their stories, their message with you as um, a faith-driven entrepreneur and helping you to understand that even on your frustrating days, on your wonderful days, <laughs> that you do need a tribe around you. And that's what we have here. So we, uh, I appreciate y'all being here because I know you could be anywhere today, but thank you for taking time mm -hmm. to listen to us. Um, and also would love to ask you, um, if you have not already, we'd love to have you go to our website, linus-pr.com and uh, fill in your email address. When you do that and you also come back and like us on Facebook or Instagram, you will be put into the drawing for a 30 minute free consultation with me. Mm -hmm. And I will do that at the end of this month. So stick around and keep coming back with us every Wednesday on the Midweek Moxie. Um, we've got some great guests coming up uh, these next few weeks as well. And um, at the end of the month, we'll let you know who gets uh, the prize. It's going to be me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> totally <What>? kidding. <laughs> Oh, no, that's awesome. I think just the community you've built, um, everyone's so loving and encouraging and supportive. And I mean, it just comes back to you, Darla, and just how much time and effort you put into it. And we all love you and we thank you for it. So thanks for just sharing everyone's stories. And again, having the courage to, to just step out in faith and, and start this. So um, speaking of courage, I mean, what gave you the courage and what continues to give you the courage to reach out to these female entrepreneurs and ask them to step into um, these videos and, and chats with you? Wow, thanks. That's a great question. So having the courage to come in to this is so different because even for those of you watching or even listening, it is, it's been nerve wracking uh, <laughs> coming in front of a camera. I don't know what it is about a camera that makes us all a little anxious. It's not like um, we've forgotten what we're here for. It's, I guess it's just the vulnerability. And so mm -hmm. there's a level of courage of coming live. There's a level of courage of saying, hey, I know you are an author and you do all these amazing things, but now we want to interview you in front of everybody on the internet. So there's a level of that. <laughs> But what I've found uh, for me that's given me courage is is doing just that. I feel like I'm I, I'm just called to mm -hmm. help these women get their message out. I have a heart of an entrepreneur. I, I have always loved working with small businesses and, and entrepreneurs my whole life. And I love hearing their stories, getting engaged with them and then telling their stories to other people is something I've always done. So having an opportunity to do it here mm -hmm. and give you um, an access to their resources, their books, their courses and what they're teaching, as well as their message and get you plugged into some amazing women just to have in your wheelhouse is uh, that's that's what gives me the courage to keep going. I know this is what God's called me to do. It's what he's wired me for. So that is what keeps me going, even on the days I get scared and mm -hmm. on the days when things don't go well, technically, because there's been so many days that technically <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> That's so true. <laughs> now, when you reach out to these entrepreneurs and, and awesome women that you have interviewed in the past and, and continue to line up each week, how um, do you create that con contact? Is it just through LinkedIn? Is it just women who um, have introduced you to someone else they know? Can you talk into that a little bit? Oh, yeah. So I am an avid, um, I, I love researching. 
So mm -hmm. I will curate, I will search, um, not just on LinkedIn, but just to, even when I'm out talking to people, I will have an opportunity just to hear about somebody mm -hmm. and I will go and look at them and friend them. And then we just start a conversation. I do that through LinkedIn sometimes. It has been also through Facebook. It's been through people I've known. Um, that's, I love how you and I met. It was through mm -hmm. a mutual friend and our first meeting was the coffee shop. Yay. Yes. But I love great coffee. <laughs> So um, that's another thing. If they don't like coffee, I'm like, hmm, are you really that courageous? <laughs> but, um, but but getting to find these women is is something that I love taking the time to do because I know that not everybody has time to find who to listen to. There's mm -hmm. an ocean of information out there. So getting in front of these women and sharing their information with you has come from me just digging around and I will do that. I'll go down that rabbit hole. If you'll tell me about somebody, I will not only look at them, I'll look at their business. I'll look at what they've been doing and seeing how, how they're changing the world, literally. Mm. And, and then it's been incredible. When I reach out to these ladies, they're like, yes, I want to share my message because that's mm. what the leader will do is they want to get their message out. That's why they're doing this. If you've got a book out, it's because you have a story to tell people. And for those of you who, who want to get a book out there, um, please reach out to us. Yeah. There you <laughs> go. Hear your story. We do. Yeah. And you mentioned something actually a couple of weeks ago where you've been in marketing and PR pretty much your whole life. You're <laughs> an expert at it, but you turned PR into something else. Do you oh. want to share what that means and stands <laughs> for for you? Now? I do. <laughs> You remember that. So um, PR, of course, means public relations. Mm -hmm. But for me, it is more of a of a personal relationship with people. And uh, but I have to be careful saying that because I can't say, oh, I'm a PR. I'm a personal relationship expert. <laughs> because people are like, do you do you work for a, you know, a matchmaking company? <laughs> but I do love connecting women. And I do. Mm -hmm. That there is there has to be a level of relationship building right there that you do understand that when when God puts someone in your life don't don't just dismiss it there's a, there's a purpose and reason for it so thanks for That's asking so that. good I yes I remember that I and do well it really stuck out to me and I was like no one has said that before and of course you bring it up and I'm like light bulb hello that's amazing <laughs> now speaking of um how did you kind of fall into your niche group and, and focusing on, you know, female entrepreneurs, but also faith-based female entrepreneurs? Mm, that's, that's another good question because that's hard to do. I have worked with other people, um, helping them find their niche. And to be quite honest with you, um, there's a lot of things I love doing. So when I, um, was starting to get a little more serious about my endeavors. People are like, well, where are you niching down into? You know, you know, where specifically are you? And it freaked me out at first. Because <laughs> to me, that's like, a, yeah, I'm amazed at like pastors or anybody who does a speech and they write it for hours and hours and they have pages and they condense it down to like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you do that? That's an, that's a skill. And mm -hmm. so for me going very niche into realizing that I am, I'm here for the faith driven female entrepreneurs. What uh, came from, I, at first I wanted to just do PR for everybody. And it was just mm -hmm. like, no, I can't do that. Sure. <laughs> and then as I was trying to get more um, funneled in of specifically where my, my biggest impact is mm -hmm. I really at first wanted to just reach, okay, just female entrepreneurs in business. And then it was like, no, you got to get even more in because I, I really believe from my heart that, that that God has each of us here for a purpose and having the joy to get to share that with other Christian females who are faith driven and they have a kingdom excellence. They want to do this on a serious level. I, I want to be there for them and help them uh, achieve that. So getting into that was something that I developed as I was going. And, and I saw that that's where it was already headed anyway. And I was like, why am I fighting this? This is something that I, I've been called to do. So mm -hmm. giving, giving that over to the Lord has actually just been amazing. The people he brings into my, my path that mm -hmm. I have never, Chatham, I could have never uh, gone out and reached some of these women that literally have just come across my path. And you, know, you asked earlier, how do I find these people? 
quite honestly, when, when I reach out to people who are, um, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just throwing this out there, just any of them, mm -hmm. they've never known me. They don't know who I am. And they say, yes, I would love to be on the line of summit. I'm looking at this. This is great. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and, and there's almost a surprise element of, of, okay, I, I, mm -hmm. I I'm excited that you said yes. So let's let's go from there. So I'm grateful for the opportunities, and so I don't want to take I don't want to take that for granted. Mm, I love that. Mm. Now, for women who are watching or maybe just want to learn like the next step from here, what would you encourage them to do, and how would you like them to connect with you on just a personal level as well? Oh, thank you so much. So um, if there is um, if you're thinking of being a female entrepreneur, if you're thinking of trying to either start a business or your books or anything like that, please just email us. It's um, our email address. It will be, it's all over our Facebook page. <laughs> it is, um, it's, I want to make sure I say this right, lion.pr.summit <laughs> at gmail.com. And just email me and let's talk through it and see um, if this is a good fit for you and how we can get you on your path. If you're already a female entrepreneur that is going along and you keep hitting, you know, you're bumping your head against a wall and you're just not sure where it's at. Um, I like to walk people through that as well and do some mentoring and coaching and help you get um, awareness of mm -hmm. where you're at because I, um, I, I, I am a strong believer that you are only gonna go as far as your fears. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, go, go as far as your dreams. Well, if you've got a fear blocking that dream, you're not going to reach the full potential of your dream. Mm -hmm. And you're going to keep bouncing against what that fear is. And I know because mm -hmm. I've had to struggle and wrestle through, um, you have to chat them. And it has, uh, when you get to that fear, it just seems almost like this, this big monster standing in the road and your dreams on the other side. You can't, you can't mm -hmm. go it. You've got to figure out how to get rid of that fear, change your mindset. And I, I, I've, I've always looked at fear as this way. Healthy fear is good. I mean, we all need some level of fear in our life and a respect of it. But fear shouldn't control your life. And I, I put it in this analogy this way. Put it in the back seat. He's he, Fear is on your journey. Fear is going to be there. Put it in the back seat. Buckle him in. He does not get to control the air <laughs> the radio, he doesn't get to drive. He doesn't get to, do, he doesn't get to tell you where to turn, mm -hmm. but he's there in your life and learning how to control that is, um, is some practices mm -hmm. that I would love to help, uh, these, these precious women, uh, overcome because when you hold yourself back and let fear control, then you're, the world's missing out on the gift you have. Mm -hmm. I've heard numerous speakers and pastors and just, you know, podcast speakers, whomever. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about fear and, you know, if something scares you, that means something bigger is coming or that means you're about to be pushed out of your comfort zone. And in order to grow and mm -hmm. to shift your mindset, you really have to just face it and step into that. And I know you agree with that. And that's really, you know, your push with being courageous. And I absolutely love that. So again, just thank you for that. Thank you for creating this platform for everyone. Um, now, there is a lot of noise in saying that. There are a lot of people who are, who are coaching and mentoring and whatnot. So speak to us a little bit about how you do it different and, and how you stick out compared to maybe others or just have a different way. Ah, and that's good. And there's a difference. Um, you know, you and I have talked about this before. So you'll hear the words, you know, a leadership and mentoring and coaching. So with coaching, um, having the opportunity to just to set up a certain amount of time of where we're going, we've got a goal set and we are going, it's going to, we're going to start from that goal and work backwards and say, okay, we're going to do this in four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, however, and we're going to help you get to that goal. My goal as a coach is to be here for you, but yet I want to help you just like as, as my coach was when mm -hmm. I was in gymnastics you know she would train me and walk me through all the nuances and prepare me but then she stepped back out of the way and let me do it mm. because I had to. and so as a coach that's what I'd love to do is help you um, understand and give you tools to be more prepared with what you're going to be doing mm -hmm. and, and just step back and just be your biggest cheerleader and 
the good thing that each of us bring to the table is our experience, our mm -hmm. view, our intelligence, our um, opportunities that we see, okay, this is how you're getting hung up here and I can help you with that. So I feel like me as a coach, what sets me apart is the fact that I, number one, I love to listen and engage mm -hmm. with you and I have the ability truly to sit here and see things and you, you don't see and help right. you figure that out and figure out how you can use those attributes to help you go through and push through the fear. And you are so right what you said earlier about the fear. Anytime that you're really scared of something and it is holding you back, that means it is, there's something really big on the other side. Mm -hmm. And that's really just like, okay, you're about to go off. You're about to jump off the high dive. Well, that's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you uh, the support supplies and the mental ability to know what to do um, of how to jump, how to hit the water gracefully. And how to <laughs> we all need that. Yes. Uh, now, I know you have some exciting news to share about potentially something coming up this fall. So take yes. the lead from here and then we'll start wrapping up. Oh, thank you. I am so excited. So all of the um, the years that I've had chance to mentor women and talk to them and work with small businesses and women, I have um, been developing some leadership courses that we're going to be starting a, a membership and a leadership course in August for the female entrepreneurs that um, are ready to uh, take their, um, their, their skills and their abilities to the next level. Because uh, I really believe that as your business grows, it's, it's only going to grow because of you. Mm -hmm. your, your business is only going to grow as much as you're growing. So you should never stop growing. And most entrepreneurs love learning. And this is just an opportunity to help you get to that next level. So we'll be sharing a lot more about that. That will be the Linus mm -hmm. Leadership. And it will be starting in August. So y'all uh, join in with us every week and catch up mm -hmm. on uh, what's be coming, coming up. Super excited, super excited. Well, thank you, Darla, for your time. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. Um, anything else you'd like to share or mention before we go? Yes, I would. So Chatham is just an amazing young lady. And I've just, she is not expecting this at all. So Chatham, um, because of lovely COVID, did not get to have the dream wedding and everything they had. They're going to have that this fall. So um, um, Miss, uh, and am I saying Carbonell? Yeah. Chatham Carbonell. <laughs> is also, you're gonna catch her on Instagram and Facebook at C Marie Media and Design. And she is a wizard with words. When you um, want your story, uh, talk about curating. This girl is literally very gifted mm -hmm. in this. I highly recommend her, check her out on Instagram and on Facebook. And uh, trust me, you're gonna be very impressed with her. Um, Thank you. Her with me. I, I'm so proud to have her here with the Line of Summit. Thank you. Yep. So unexpected. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, everyone have a great rest of your day and uh, we'll catch you next week. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye.